pray. Do what? Do what? Pray. 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 You see, prayer is not just I pray for something God answers. Prayer is an invitation to God. When you pray, you are inviting God. When you pray, you are getting God involved. The more a person begins to pray, the more the person becomes small and God becomes big. So now when you are looking for what the person can do, you cannot find. But what you can find in the person's life is what God can do. So the abilities the person is operating by is not his own ability. It's operating by the ability of God. It's operating for the, uh, yeah, the realm of the supernatural. So when everybody says these things cannot be possible, the prayer man, when he steps there, it becomes possible. Because he's operating not in his strength, but he's operating in the strength of the law. The more you pray, the more the fire of God is released. The more the strength of God is released. The more of the power of God is released. So when you saw Jesus praying, praying, Jesus praying, praying, not that he doesn't know what he was doing. He knew what he was doing. Because he knew as a man, as a man, he will need God to survive. As a man, if he can do beyond what men can do, then he has to open himself up for God to feed him. So he can operate in the dimension of God and the realm of God. Because why? He was created in the image and the likeness of God. So for him to flow in that dimension, he has to give that humanity and that connect to the flesh. He has to drop it for heaven to invade the earth.